Welcome. Today I'd like to explore a very basic question. Why is negative times positive actually a negative answer? Um, it seems like a very basic question, but there's actually something very subtle going on that's worth pointing out, and most people don't think of this. Uh, to get us going, let's, let's talk about multiplication in general at a very elementary level. For example, at the very beginning, what do we think of when I say 3 times 4? Well, we usually think of this as repeated addition. So at least at the level of counting numbers, multiplication is regarded as repeated addition. So three groups of four. Three groups of four. So when I do this, I have one group of four. Here they are. I'll draw four dots, plus another group of four, plus another group of four, dot 12 dots make in total. So three groups of four is really one four plus another four plus another four. And when I say five times 12, I'm really thinking of five groups of 12. 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, and I believe that's 60. All right, so at the very basics, at the very beginning, we like to say that 3 times 4 is 3 is repeated addition. All right, what I'd like to do now is just take this idea and be a little more systematic about it, because there's something deep going on here. Uh, here's one group of 4, another group of 4, a third group of 4. Let me do these dots in a nice systematic manner. Let me put one group of 4 in a row put a second, my second group of four in a second row of dots, and my third group of four in a third row of dots. And if I look this way, I am indeed seeing three groups of four. But if I take this very same picture and instead look this way, I actually see a completely different multiplication problem. I see four columns of three, four groups of three. Was well, the same picture, the answer must be the same. So four times three has to be philosophically now the same answer as three times four. So it's not at all obvious if you think about it, why is A groups of B guaranteed to be the same as B groups of A? It's only when I draw a picture like an array in a rectangle that this is, feels true, feels right. But that leads me to the big question. Does this rule, this commutative property, which it seems to be evidently true, at least for positive counting numbers, feel so right and so natural that we'd like to say it's true for all types of numbers? And that's a like question. I use the word, would we like to say it's true? It's a choice. So most people say, well, yes, I'd like to believe that this works for all types of numbers, not for counting numbers, in which case there are some logical consequences we're going to have to live with. And uh, no matter what you think about these consequences, they're going to be there. So here it goes. Let me explore what does this commutative law say about dealing with negative numbers now. All right. If I, let me just clear the screen here. Sorry, I made a little jumbled. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a little more smudgy there. Let me get rid of that smudge. All right. Suppose I ask for now three groups of negative four. I can handle that. I'm thinking of multiplication as repeated addition. So that's one group of negative four plus another group of negative four plus another group of negative four. I'm not quite sure what I'm drawing geometrically, uh, anti dots or something. In any case, negative four plus negative four plus negative four is negative 12. So I'm willing to believe that positive times negative is negative. That seems natural. So what about negative times positive? negative 3 times 4. Now back to my elementary model of multiplication being repeated addition, this is out the window now. I know what to make of this. Negative 3 groups of 4? That's not the same as negative 4 and negative 4 and negative 4. That's a different question. Negative 3 groups of 4. Very strange. This is very confusing. I'll put lots of question marks around that because philosophically it's bizarre. But remember, we're playing a game. We're playing a game where we'd like to believe that A times B equals B times A for all types of numbers. I can't draw a picture for it. It's just a belief now. And if I'm going to go with this belief, then I'm going to have to say to myself, OK, negative 3 times 4, don't know what it means, but it would be the same as four groups of negative 3 that I can handle. That's one group of negative 3 plus another group of negative 3 plus another group of negative 3 plus another group of negative 3, and that's negative 12. There it is. Negative times positive. If I choose to play this game, is going to have to be negative. Of course, if I take this a little further, I'm going to explore negative times negative. Well, why is that positive? But that's worthy of another video. Thanks.